Setting up for this was rough. I should have planned this out better. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have done all this and wore a hoodie at the same time. Maybe that's where the problem came in. Well, regardless, welcome back to another video. I am back with the typical unboxing that I usually do. Um, this is the same box as usual, book of the month. The Friends quarterly box from Loot Crate. That sounds right. Loot Crate. and. Um, I did go on a short trip to Gatlinburg slash Pigeon Forge um, to a quick car show that I go to every year. While I was there, I stopped at the McKay's in Knoxville, which is about an hour outside of the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. Um, and then I did stop at the Cat House, which I go to every year along with the car show, and they had a book there that I picked up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I think I'm gonna do the books first because that's what the, what's on the top of my stack right here. So we're just gonna get started. They gave me a dollar store and Kroger bag to put these in. So that's what we're working with here. I didn't get too wild in McKay's like I have done before. But the first one I have is um, First Realm by Susan Kite. This goes along with her other book that follows the cat, TB. Um, this is more of a prequel to that book though, I believe. Yes, this is the prequel, it says it on the back. So this is the prequel to that book. Um, they're pretty thin, they're pretty quick little reads, um, but this is a independently pu published author, so that's why I grabbed it and I also noticed that she signed it. It's got a little book plate in it. So that's part of also why I grabbed it. Other than I did enjoy the first book. Um, and while I was in McKay's, I grabbed this. This stack doesn't look as small as it is, but I promise it's a small stack. Um, so I'm gonna jump into that. The first one, this is the last one I added to my um, cart, but the first one on the stack here, and it is 20th, 20th Century Ghosts by Joe Hill. Um, he wrote The Heart-Shaped Box. This also has the short story um, Black Phone in it, which was recently turned into a movie. Um, and it's actually been re-released and retitled to Black Phone, but it's a collection of short stories by Joe Hill, but it was originally published first as 20th Century Ghosts. Um, he's written quite a few horror books, a couple of novellas, many short stories. He also wrote Death... Not Death Note. Lock and Key. Um, and he's also a part of the show that uh, for lock and key so he's done quite a bit and this next one I just grabbed it because one the title intrigued me and two the cover intrigued me but also when I read the inside cover it sounded really good I don't know when I'll get to it but it did sound very intriguing but it is a people's history of the vampire uprising by Raymond um Bio real violet Bio real if you know how to say that, please tell me, because I don't want to disrespectfully butcher his name. Um, this one takes place, I want to say, in Arizona, which is kind of a weird place to put a vampire book, I will say, but it takes place in um, Arizona, and it, um, it's basically a murder mystery where people are disappearing you know and um it's kind of like a i don't want to say true crime it was in the horror section but i want to say it's kind of written like a true crime or a mystery thriller type book but i haven't read it yet so i can't tell you yet um this next one's been a really popular one um if you don't know what this is about 
this book is what I thought Daisy Jones and the Six was about, but I was wrong. Um, it is The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes by Alyssa Sloan. And this one, I, I believe, let me read this first. Okay, this is the one where um, it was a um, pop group and they disbanded and now the um, lead singer, I wanna say, has committed suicide and I think she has contacted all of her bandmates. Um, but I could be wrong, but I do know that it's got different um, perspectives. It's got a perspective from every single bandmate in it and what the downfall of the pop group was. Um, and it, I think it takes place in like the late nineties, early two thousands. So this one was what I thought Daisy Jones and the Six was originally supposed to be before I actually purchased it. Um, and this one I've seen everywhere as well. Um, and I, I'm very excited for this one. I was not preparing to find, I was not prepared to find this in McKay's, but it is Lapfona by Atessa Mosfeg. Um, and it has also been everywhere. Um, but, let's see. I actually don't even know what this one was about. When I remember reading what it was about and being like oh that's what that's about I don't know why I bought it and didn't know what it was about but um I think it is a literary fiction I think it's a little bit of satire I could be wrong also um I've been on the lookout for this one still have the sticker on it my bad Okay, this one takes place, I thought I had this right. This one takes place in the early 90s in Los Angeles. And um, it is called uh, The Black Kids by Christina Hammonds Reed. Why did they put a sticker right in the middle of the author's name? Why, why did they do that? But this is a young adult. Um, I've been on the lookout for this one for quite a while. Um, oh, it's boring naked. But um, I've heard it's very, very good. It is a, um, it had a very long synopsis. But, um, let's see. The, one of the quotes on the back, it says, I've never read a book that so aptly um, delves into the harrowing shift from black girl to black woman while um, chronicling one of the most resounding examples of systematic, systematic, systemic, 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 I've never read a book that so aptly delves into the harrowing shift from black girl to black woman while chronicling one of the most resounding examples of systemic racism in recent American history. Um, I know that this revolves around a group of friends. Um, I don't think that this one is about the group of friends that are walking home from a party. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't think that's this book though, but I've, I've heard of both, of both of them and I've been on the lookout. Um, I've also been on the lookout for this next one and I don't know why I wanted the gold cover, but I did. Um, and it is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Um, she's also got some other books that I want to, but I had really been on the lookout for this one in particular. Um, this one is Fractured by Karen Slaughter. Um, and I think this one is a domestic thriller. We love to see it and it takes place in Georgia. So we love to see it, you know. So, um, and Karen Slaughter's recently been everywhere as well. This one, can I just talk about how tall this book is though? Can we just, can we just discuss that? Like, why is it so tall? And the next one I got, um, First of all, I just want to say that I really enjoy the picture on the cover, um, but it is um, the Stephen King Companion. Now this came out quite a while ago, as you can tell from the cover, but that picture of Stephen King on the front from that mansion, baby, I, I'm here for that. I love that. 
you can't see it on camera, but like the picture, the face he's making in this picture, can't go wrong. Ew, there's a dead bug in it. Thanks. Um, and this picture right inside the cover, love to see it. I should have got the other one. Maybe I should have flipped through it to make sure there wasn't dead bugs in them. Thanks, McKay's. This came out in 1989. Wow, that was, he didn't have as many books out as he does now. But, um, is this 1989? Anyway, I flipped through, I did flip through, like, the interviews part of it, but I didn't flip through the very front of it to see that it had a squished bug and bug guts in it. Thanks, McKay's. Should I file a complaint and be a Karen? Um, and as always, I got a bookmark from McKay's, and they actually had, are these stickers? Or are these just little flyers? They actually had little, like little sticker looking flyers in at the checkout which is um the mckay's near me the two that are closest to me well the one that's closest to me which is the nashville location they don't have stickers like that near the register so i'm gonna i'm gonna be on the lookout for these next time i go but um are these a sticker sure be cooler if they were nope they're not stickers all right we're into the book of the month now. Did I bring anything to open this box this time? You guessed it. Nope. I know that this time, this is the October box. I know that I didn't choose just one book this time. Oh. I do have a pocket knife. Wow. That wasn't even secured in there. So I chose two this month. I thought I chose two, it, but I wasn't too for sure if it was two or three. Sign here by Claudia Lux and um, The Family Game by Katherine Stedman. 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 Is this the cat? Is this the author that wrote Fifty Six Days? Was it Fifty Six Days? That was also in Book of the Month not long ago about the kind of like the, about the pandemic um i want to say it is but i could be wrong um both of these i think this was the horror thriller or the horror thriller the horror pick for this month and this was the thriller pick for this month um of course i don't remember what they were or what the blurbs were but i do remember there were three i was trying to choose between and i ended up choosing these two and of course we got the bookmark for this month. So that's the exciting part of that. Can't put my little knife up yet because we still have the friends box to view. Um, and wow, they tore it open for me. So I didn't even need that little handy dandy pocket knife. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to be a thanksgiving -y box, um, like the one I got last year around this time was, just based off the box, and the back of it has the Thanksgiving parfait. But, I'm going to let you take a first look at it, because I have no idea what's in here. So, does it look pretty cool this time? Oh, I don't even know which one to do. Okay, so this is our cheat sheet card. So we're gonna save that for later to make sure that everything that I was supposed to get, I got. Okay, they have a, visit the link below to save $10 on your next purchase and learn more about the Culture Fly Club Reward Program. See, this isn't even a Loot Crate box. This is a Culture Fly box. I was wrong. I, I've literally bought this box for over a year and I still have it wrong. Wow, interesting. Well. 
<sighs> well, I'm gonna follow that link because I buy from this like every every time. What is this? A bento box. See, I shouldn't. I knew I shouldn't have put that knife up. That's why I kept it with me. Cause now I gotta open this. So we have a little bento lunch box that I'm gonna unwrap. It says, hand wash only, do not microwave. So don't put it in the dishwasher either. Oh, okay. I didn't know the whole lid was supposed to come off. We got our spoon and our fork. And then just the little section. That's actually like a really good meal prep idea um I don't really know what you're supposed to put in oh it's got the little handles that's cool I don't really know what you're supposed to put in bento boxes that you can't put in a microwave I'm gonna be honest because if I'm taking it to work it's probably gonna be food that I want to heat up but I guess I could put like a sandwich in it and like carrot sticks or something what do we have next Ooh, uh, we have cupcake liners so I'm not gonna open these because they'll go everywhere but I don't know how well you can see them or if there's a glare um, but they're just kind of like brown Thanksgiving fall colors that says um, happy turkey happy Thanksgiving smells like tastes like feet so from their their Thanksgiving episode this is definitely a Thanksgiving episode themed box just from what I'm seeing so far Okay, so I have, is this a, like a hand towel? Um, and this one doesn't feel like microfiber like some of the last Culture Fly boxes I've gotten. Um, I know that my friend's beach towel and the SpongeBob beach towel felt like microfiber. And I'm, I'm sure that I'm with, do they really have to be mowing right now? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. This is an unpopular opinion. I literally hate microfiber towels. All they do is push water around. They don't dry anything off. And they catch, like, the little dry skin on my hands. Like, even if I just put lotion on. Like, it literally feels like it pulls the skin on my hands. And I don't like it. So, but anyway. There is the hand towel slash dish rag. Oh, well, this tag says tea towel. But, same thing. Um, let's go with this box since everything else in here looks big so oh we got styrofoam so this is a glass tumbler according to this box i'm not gonna lie this kind of looks like a whiskey glass the picture on here looks really really cool the picture has a slit right down the middle i don't know if you can see this but it's literally got like a slit right down the middle So you're telling me I paid this much money for a damaged item? I'm just gonna contact them and be like, hey, my item came damaged. Um, so I'm definitely gonna save that. But it is cool. Um, what's the regulations on it? Does it say how to wash it? No. So the next, this looks like an apron. I haven't unfolded it yet, but like, it just kind of looks like an apron. And it is, it is a Central Perk apron, according to the tag. That's, that's cute. I like that apron. Once again, the label on it is a little cheap, but the rest of it doesn't feel that bad. We have a cookbook, the Friends Official Cookbook. The culture fly edition. Let's see what's got in it. Of course. 
oh wow it's got all kinds of recipes in here like this is just the contents page it's got drinks and everything so that is it's actually pretty good to come in this box and these are placemats so they've got a whole placemat set i'm not gonna lie i thought these were like the really thin cutting boards that have become really popular all right so we have it tastes like feet it's just two placemats and uh, happy turkey day so these kind of go with the plates that were in one of the previous boxes that i got um that is all i have today for the unboxing um this is kind of a mixed bag of events i hate that i got a damaged item but um um overall if you saw anything in here that you thought was really cool let me know if you've read any of the books that i've bought please let me know um but other than that thanks for watching and i will see you again in the next video